Right guys, it's Jake from Metal Wani here. I'm here with wonderful Des from Devil Driver. How you going, man? Good, man. And we got Neil here and Mike. Come Neil in. and Mike as well. Yep. Nice. We're all we're packing this room out in here. Yep. Um, you guys played Varken Open Air, uh, finishing a couple of hours ago. How was that for you out there? Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable? Huge crowd, massive pit, everybody in the mud. Yep. Prime slot in the middle of the day, everybody singing the songs. Yeah, the band played great. The crew got right up and hit the deck. Yeah, everything like, worked. Yeah, everything worked. It was like, it was a flawless day. That's rare. So there you go. Yep. Cool. Um, I know you've played here before, but how does it compare to some of the other festivals you've done? I know you did Metal Days a couple yeah. of day, a couple of weeks ago, um, Hellfest. How does Vakken compare to some of those festivals? I think both of these guys will say the same thing. It's so well run. It's so professionally run. It's so well run. Everything is on time. Everything is on schedule. Their crews uh, are decent and help our crews. Our crew is decent and helps them. It's, it just run really well, man. Yeah, they know? make the bands want to come back. You know, yeah. For sure. Cool. And, not uh, just wieners at catering. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, even catering is good, right? But I think... Not a lot uh, they can do about the mud. But. <laughs> not a lot they can do about the mud with the rain. That, that's most, get that's, those yeah. fucking hay guns. That's an act of the, the thing is, you look at yourself in, in the mix of all these other bands, these great, legendary bands, and you think to yourself, hey, man, thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Glad to come to the party. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, and that's something that I was sort of going to touch on in a little bit as well, like yeah. some of the other bands that are playing. So, um, do you do you guys enjoy playing these larger festival shows, or do you prefer playing the smaller ones, or do you just enjoy playing? This is the when I first started riding with Neil for Trust No One. His main goal was to play. Well, yeah, yeah, play this gig. We weren't booked for it yet, so. Yeah, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but it's a big. I'm not sure who's a big got to tell Neil first. I don't know if it was you or me. But I think it was. Close. I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> but it. Uh, no, I mean, I, I feel, I feel like we, we can, we can hit any type of stage, even if it's not even a stage, it's just a floor. But man, it really shines, and it really, really feels like it's popping on stage when you're in front of that many people. Yeah. With that much room to play with, I like, I, I see a different look in people's eyes. I mean, and not to say that we couldn't have a hell of a time with 80 people yep. in a small room but fucking it playing that but you do 70 minutes in front of that many people and keep them enthralled and watching and pitting for that long that's it yeah come on yeah. I mean even if, uh, if I'm watching a movie after an hour I'm like push pause let's go get a cocktail you know what I'm saying yeah it's all about the connection you can get it from from 80 people like I said you can get it from 20,000 but if you get it from that much during yeah. the day it's, yeah. it's hard to beat that yeah. I went out on the front of the uh visual screens today and I'm walking back and there's a part that Neil had to play that I get to cut out and just walk. I just walk by and I just feel the stage with my hand, yeah. you know, I just, it's just little things like that I'll never forget. There you go, man. Cool. Yeah, all, all around, man, what a great day. Yeah. And to share it with all these great bands, it's just killer. Yeah. Every time I looked up, all I saw was ashes. <laughs> cool. So, you guys have been touring in support of Trust No One for a little bit now. How have the fans been taking the new material live? Well, we worked very hard on that record. We knew, especially with new members, that it was very important. That thing came out so strong. 60 in the United States, highest debut we've ever had. Sold more in the United States the first week we've ever had. Debuted very high all over the world. The marks in the press have been exceptional. I haven't seen a bad review. I mean, I'll knock on wood, but because I think they feel our heart. Like, we weren't just sticking to our guns and doing what we know we could do. We did go out on the limb with songs like My Night Sky and shit like that. We, we did, but we also got back to what we know what the fuck needs to be done with all the other bands in the scene doing what they're doing. We know we had to come with something vicious and something rude. Some guy the other day said, you're the only rock band that plays metal and the only metal band that plays rock. I was like, shit, it makes sense to me because yeah. we got a groove. It's very important for us to be different. So there you go. It came out well, man. Cool. And with the new guys joining um, a couple of years ago or in the, in the uh, last, between the last album and now, did the chemistry in the uh, band change at all? Like, uh, 100% the chemistry changed. Yeah. It got... 100% better. Yep. The dedication to the music, the dedication to the touring, the, the bro down, the vibe, that everything became like a fucking band. Yep. You know, I tell bands all this all the time, if you're together for a long time, you know, if you've got 
man, members you don't get along with or this and that. Like, don't feel weird like you got to part ways. Like, it's, it's more important for the vibe within the band to come out on stage and to have it be a vibe than to try to keep something together that's not working internally. Now this thing is firing on all cylinders. We're like a fucking hot rod at the line, waiting for the green light. Like yeah. any any given fucking Sunday, give it to me. Yeah. Cool. And it doesn't matter who wins. We no, no, no matter who we play with. I'm like, let's get them. Yeah. And that's our shit. Yeah. And it could be three o'clock or ten thirty at night, whatever. I was like, let's get them. Yeah. Cool. Um, you guys were with Roadrunner for a very long time before making the switch to Napalm. How has that change been for you guys? Um, 100%. Very open, creative. Uh, the creative aspect of it is very open. We're getting ready to do something next year, release something next year that uh, is going to, I think, surprise a lot of people. Okay. Uh, and it's not our own thing, supposedly, right? It's uh, We're doing something extremely special. Yeah, cool. But to have somebody artistically go, hey, what do you guys want to do? Yeah. As musicians. And we just signed a three to we just signed a four record deal with them. Okay. You don't hear about that anymore. No, no, People yeah, don't no. do that anymore. Yeah. Um, you know, the owner, the, uh, the head of the label comes to my house and we go surfing. So that'll tell you the vibe we yeah. have, you know? Yeah. The cool. vibe is there. Cool. Um, this is more so directed towards you, Des, but being an Australian, there was um, some tweets that were sent out recently from yourself about Legion Festival and maybe future plans for Devil Driver um, coming to Australia. Is there anything that's on the cards yet? or? Oh, we wanted to be part of the Legion Fest thing because we thought it was cool. It was like a crowdfunding thing, but it just didn't work out. Yep. So I had to tell them, stop advertising me because now I'm coming. So we're coming. I can't tell you when, but very soon. Okay. And uh, I'd like to get there this year, but I don't know what will happen. So we get into next year, but then we're coming with a hell of a package. And, that just I consider that like a fucking devil driver stronghold. Yeah. Australia for me is like, let's fucking get it. Yeah. Like I can't wait to come down there. And I have amazing friends down there, man, you know? AJ Matt, I mean one of them, him and his wife Joe. Yeah. Just to see them alone makes my day. Um, Devil Driver has obviously shared the stage with a lot of great bands and there's been a lot that have been playing out here at Varken today but is there anyone that's still left on the list that uh, you guys want to share the stage with or maybe like a, uh, a dream tour, like support of or is having support well, yourselves? Mike said it the other day, uh, Mike said it the other interview, so yeah, I tour with Metallica would be killer because we all grew up on it. Yep. I've managed to tour with everybody I'm going to mention. Uh, but anybody, any band who really wants to have a good time, we're there. Cool. That's really that. Cool. Um, this one's another one for you, Des, but side projects, is there any chance that we'll see you doing something with Cold Chamber in the near future, like a new record or maybe a tour? I mean, at this point right now, I'm in Devil Driver World. I can't even, it's hard to even comment on the Cold Chamber thing at this point. You know, to even say, will it happen, is a uh, redundancy. Yep. You don't think about it. So it's just something that happens organically. It's just something that yeah. happened organically. Okay. Will it happen again organically? Don't know. But I know where my where my heart is now, and uh, we're on a new record, and I'm supporting this thing fucking wholeheartedly. Cool. So, tour plans after the European run? Um, uh, we do the Knot Fest, and we go to in, in the USA. We play with Hate Breed, and then we uh, are going to go play Mexico as well. Yep. Uh, come on. Yeah. Well, the Ozfest is U.S. Not fest is Mexico. Yeah. Uh, and then um, come up Christmas, and yeah. then go right back out January, February, March. Uh, yeah, cool. Put the headliner together over here, and uh, working on Australia days. Cool. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans out there? Any any final messages for the fans listening over the world? Well, this has been an incredible year. Yeah. Not only is the vibe so amazing, this band. But the, the fans, the people behind us, like, see it. Like, there's been so many people come up to me and I go, I've seen you guys five times. Tonight was the tightest I've ever seen you. Yeah. You they, feel the same way? Yeah, definitely. The energy from the show today is, uh, is tenfold from what I've seen before. There so you go. It's, it's, it's good. It's there you good go. to see. So it's all about vibe, right? If you compromise vibe, you compromise the music. Yeah. So no longer will we compromise the vibe in this band. The vibe is so fucking hit. 
mean, we're all up late at night fucking laughing. That dude's voice is amazing. Yeah, no, I, I actually saw them a few weeks ago in Brisbane, and it, yeah, it, another amazing band, and same sort of deal. Like they've got their vibe, and it's it's just yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, look, look at all the bands we're playing with today. How do you not feel proud and honored to be invited to something like that? Yeah. And then to have a flawless show, and then to come with new members. And Neil, who's sitting next to you, this was like his like bucket list show. So to do that with him. And, we had a great time on stage, but then to have it turn out spectacular, yeah. fuck, man. Yeah. That's cool. get better. Cool, well, that's all I've got for you, for you guys, so thanks so much for your time. Um, I'm sure the, the Australian fans will be happy to know that there's something on the cards. Come on, and, yeah. Australia. You know how I feel. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Cool, so thanks so much for your time, thanks, guys. Brother. Thank you.